Hey there, Chef Jeff here at White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. Today we're going to do something fun for you, a nice little tropical thing to do. You can do this for a snack, an appetizer, a light lunch. We're going to do some ceviche. Uh, ceviche, ceviche, wherever you're at with that. Um, I've got some dolphin and a little snapper that we're going to use. We're going to mix them in together. What I find works good for this is uh, if you go ahead and just pop into the freezer, let it get about a half frozen so it's just a little firm, it's going to work out nicer. Um, if it's thick, go ahead and just maybe cut it in half and you can dice this or slice it, whatever you're feeling. I like to do little kind of slices more than dices. Nice sharp knife. The, when the fish is a little firm like that, it's going to it's going to slice better too. So you get nice clean edges on it. You don't want it frozen because then it's too hard to cut. But, so I've just gone ahead and done that. Like I said, you can dice it if you prefer that, but I think this gives it just a little, little different look. So we're going to dice that all up and then we're going to cover it with some lime juice. Uh, fresh lime juice, you want to mix in some key limes, that's fine. Whatever. You're going to need about a, about a cup of that. And I do about, I figure about an, a pound and a half of the fish. I've got some already started here. So we're gonna mix that all in nice. But about a pound and a half of the fish, and you're gonna use about a cup of the, uh, cup of the lime juice. Um, I figure you're probably gonna need about six or eight good limes. You know, more if they're small. And I got my little presser here, so we're just gonna press them through. Do a couple more. And that should be about, about enough. Let's see what we got. Like I said, you're gonna want enough to cover it up good. Now look at that, we've even got a little extra. Go ahead and make sure it's all, all nice and covered. Maybe we don't. We use all that up. So it's all nice and all nice and covered, and we're going to let that sit in the fridge. This is going to need to sit for about two to three hours. You can do this even more ahead if you want. You know, let it go overnight, make it the night, you know, the night before, and let it sit overnight. But about two or three hours is plenty. You're looking for it. The acid in the in the lime juice is going to cook the fish, so it's going to get that opaque sort of whitish looking, and uh, that's when you know it's ready. Let's we'll go ahead and cover this up. And set that in the fridge for a little bit, like I said, about two or three hours. And while that's working, we'll go ahead and get the other stuff going. All right. Now, while our fish is in there chilling, we're going to go ahead and get started with some of the other stuff. I've got some, uh, some olives, some green olives. Got some uh, little diced red, red onion, little yellow pepper, some red pepper, some green pepper, and some jalapenos. Also, I've got some tomatoes and uh, some little peeled cucumbers. We'll probably use some of these too. So we'll go ahead and finish dicing the rest of this up. Like I said, I've just cut these into little sticks and from there, we're just gonna give them a little dice. This is gonna give the fish a nice color and crunch as well. You know, yeah. So it makes a nice fresh fish vegetable kind of salad -y snack. Oh, stuff's getting everywhere on me today. All right. All right, so then we're about ready. And uh, the olives, you're just gonna go ahead and, I do them in quarters, and then just give them a nice, nice fine little dice. And pop those in there like that too. All right, let's check on our fish and see how it's doing. 
Okay, we're back. The fish has had about three hours to set. I think it's looking good. You see how it's starting to, you see the colors, how it's starting to go ahead and it's turning already. This means that the fish is cooked. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna dump off that, that lime juice that it sat in because we don't really want that. So we'll dump all that juice off. Set that aside, we're not even, not even gonna use that. And then we're gonna take this, and we're actually gonna squeeze most of this lime juice out. A little squeeze, we'll put it in there. All right. All right, and then we're all set there. And from here, we can just start mixing our stuff in. We've got about a half a cup of tomatoes, about a half a cup of the cucumbers, maybe some of the red onions as well. And then on the peppers, I don't know if we're going to need all those, but we'll put a little bit of them in there, give it a nice color. And of course, you're going to need some jalapenos in there. You don't need them, but I think you do. Give it a little bite and a little, little there. So we'll, a little touch of that in there, a little more if you like it, a little less if you don't like it as much. And then some of our olives. Again, I think that gives it a nice authentic flavor. And then we're gonna mix that up. All right, that's getting all mixed. You're gonna need a little crack, fresh pepper. So we'll sprinkle a little pepper in there. And I think, just to help mix it in, I like a little, you can use tomato juice. I find the Clamato juice works good. It gives a little more flavor. Again, give it about a half a cup of that. Maybe another little touch of some, some hot sauce, some of your favorite, whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Go ahead and do that. And then this is ready. If you let that sit for 15 more minutes, you're good to go. But otherwise, it's ready to eat right now. And here you have our snapper and dolphin ceviche. Little fresh vegetables. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot the cilantro. Of course, we're going to need a little cilantro in there. So we'll give this just a nice little dice of some fresh cilantro. Yeah, that's what I knew it was missing. Let's see how that looks. That looks better. How do you want to serve that? What I find in one of my favorites, so I'll go ahead and I'll just put it right in a bowl. Put it right in a bowl with some fresh chips. We did those chips on another one. Go ahead and check out our nacho one to see how to do, it, do up your chips. We got. There we go. There's one of our ceviche with that. And just let people go with it. Good to go. Thanks. This is Chef Jeff, White Apron Catering in Lake Worth. 561-585-2985. Visit us on the web. Go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel here too. Thanks for watching.